Hey, what's going on, guys? Kalamazi here. This is going to be my Affliction Warlock 9.15 PTR Mage Tower, I guess, skill video guide, whatever you want to call it. It's sort of on the fly here. The Mage Tower was indeed up for testing yesterday, and we started with AF. And AF was uh, hands down the easiest spec of any lock spec in the Mage Tower, and it's not even close. So I had three pulls in the boss. I went in basically blind. I watched one video uh that talked a bit about things and that was basically it last night went to bed came in dead tired got three hours of sleep uh and here we are but uh so there's some interesting talent choices here now i will say i had three poles total killed it on third pole the middle boss was just dead i just realized he was at 10 percent. i just killed him it, it probably needs to be buffed a little bit we tried a handful of talent combinations we tried drain soul versus id uh, personally, ID is probably a little better in this fight. You're just kiting a lot, and you don't really have a lot of time to cast Drain Souls, but you can typically find a spot to plant and cast a big ID, whether it's on, whether it's on like a Grasping Hand, the you know second boss, the first boss, whatever you need to drain or gain life with if need be. ID is probably the play over Drain Soul. That's most likely what I go with, but at the same time, Drain Soul, it's fine. It doesn't really matter a whole lot. And to a similar extent, Nightfall could even be a thing too, depending on procs and kiting. 25 row Siphon Life, AC or Ride. You just play Siphon. I don't think I cast more than... 12 raptures this entire fight. You just dot things. You slow the boss with Curse of Exhaustion, the one that runs around, and you literally just watch them rot out and die. 30 row play Dark Pact. Doesn't really matter. If you get caught in a weird spot with adds, you can just Dark Pact or Dark Pact Wall and deal with it. In the 50, uh, 35 row, I played both So and Vile Taint. I actually killed the boss with Vile Taint. Now, you can play So for the adds in phase two. At spawn and it does kill them relatively quickly but i sort of just found that vile taint works well in phase one for slowing the boss if need be for whatever reason but typically exhaustion is the same thing uh but i just found like even slowing those ads sort of like permanently in phase two at times was better than so because they spawn sort of staggered pack wise i just waited for them all to get you know stacked up and vile tainted them cast one seed rapture once or twice and they sort of just died and if they didn't you just caught them with another vile taint and you were good to go and it carried over onto their bosses uh, Mortal Coil, definitely for sure. 45 row, you just play Haunt here. You're barely casting Drain Soul for any kind of SE uptime, and Sacrifice just sucks. In 50 row, you're playing Dark Soul because, hey, you know, it's uh, Dark Soul. If you haven't seen the actual set or transmog, whatever you want to call it, it's right here. It's called Diabolic something. It's like a Diabolic set. It's super, super cool. The weapon is the old Mage Tower aft uh staff from legion but the red wings it's really sick it's like a deeper crimson you, like i thought it would be it's super super cool now as far as the tower is concerned you only need to actually do one challenge to get the skin and what am i doing this video because i had three poles and they were all pretty fast i'm gonna put all three poles one two three in the video i mostly talk through what i'm doing but it's sort of a learning process at the same time the big thing things to take away here Dot the ad in phase one. He pushes, I think, at around 30-ish percent. You can watch the video and find out. Don't push him if you're at, if you're in a weird spot with resources. There's one large ad that spawns in phase two on top of the smaller ones. Just try and prioritize that a bit. Also dotting the other boss that's up. Once the boss in phase two that comes active hits zero, the fight's over. It doesn't matter if the one you're kiting around in phase one is alive or not. The big thing, just keep Curse of Exhaustion on the ad in phase one. That's literally it. Just kite him around. It's a 50% slow. It might only last 12 seconds, but make a macro if you want to just slash target him and cast exhaustion. It's incredibly easy. This is arguably easier than it was in Legion with the uh, Sacrilash slowing. It's very, very, very simple. Now, as far as once again, so versus Vile Tank goes, just play whatever you want. Personal preference, honestly. Either one works fine. This is a very easy challenge. So with that being said, enjoy the video. ID might not be terrible. Yeah, it might not be that bad, actually. I think about it. Maybe? The twisting nether feeds my strength. Might give it a shot. We'll I see. have become more powerful than you <clears throat> could ever imagine. Mm. THC knows how to break the game. THC knows every possible way to break the game. I Believe me, I, I know THC knows. <laughs> Destroy me. Oh, goodness. Bacon, hello. What's going on? Man, the legend, THC himself. Bacon, hello. Instrument. So, what's up? <clears throat> no. All right. Kill this interloper, brother. <clears throat> I obey. Uh, the RP, did you kill me? I just dump these raptures. Who cares? Doesn't matter. Nothing relevant happens later on.
How hard is he melee for? Okay, he hurts a lot. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it was worth testing. Okay. Uh, don't get melee. <laughs> God, it's worth a check. It was for science. It was for... We didn't rip anything. Okay, it's fine. It was for science, boys. Come on. Come on. No, we're fine. We just drain up. We're okay. We're okay. We're embracing the Legion lock, right? We just drain back up and we're chilling. We're going to push here anyway. She's like almost dead. Useless. Stand aside while I do what you cannot, brother. Oh, good lord. That was not good. That's what you get for getting too hard to sleep. I need to play closer to my circle with these, honestly. I want to stack them too, but at the same time, it's like, my agony. I feel like Valentine was about like, the same, if not better. I get like no time to even cast the seed before we're all on me again, you know? Like, I don't know, honestly. I'm gonna get melee here, maybe. Just gonna be a little close. Like, I feel like Valentine was better, like, honestly. Are you spoilable? No. Okay. Got it. He's starting to zoom a little bit. I don't like that. This thing might actually go off at the time. But I'm rapture this down. Should be a better push though. The hand should die about the same as him pushing. Once again, I must clean up your mess, brother. Where's the rune? It's over here. Gorker ain't gonna make it over here, dude. He's over there playing with himself. So all right, I'll just, uh, I'll take care of it myself. It's fine. <laughs> Gorker's in trouble. He ain't making it over here, dude. He ain't making it. Oh, I saw Gork. He's gonna hit me. Are they both alive now? Or they're both active now or no? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. That's something. Oh, and there's perma. Are there perma ad spawning too? Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. Got it. What hit me? Oh, the grasp. Okay. I'm playing. Okay, so this pull ended up being the actual kill for me. Now, this is my third attempt on the boss. And like I said earlier, I didn't really do a whole lot of research on it, barring just one quick video the night before and sort of trying to remember what I did in Legion, I guess, past. Now, I sort of wanted to do them on the fly. The big thing with this one, I changed talents from Drain Soul to Inevitable Demise, and I changed from so the Seeds to Vile Taint. Now, Vile Taint has, a, has, I guess, a... I would say permanent, but whenever the dot is active, it applies a slow effect to the mobs on top of dealing damage to them. And with it being on a 20-ish second cooldown and sort of being, I guess, capped on shards here for a good portion of the fight, I felt it was probably in my best interest to give it a shot. And honestly, it worked out pretty well. So similar to the pull before, when the boss first starts, I don't really do a whole lot. Curse of Exhaustion goes up, Agony, Corruption, Siphon Life, UA Haunt, but I'm not popping Orb or Ruby or any trinkets, no cooldowns here. I'm really just going to kite this guy around. The dots that I put up while just slowing him will do basically all the damage I need. 
all i'm gonna do is maintain uh keep refreshing exhaustion and if he gets close to me even with exhaustion up you can just demonic circle demonic gateway away from him not a big deal you can see he's already at 65 percent give or take i'm waiting for the actual boss in this energy to become active and i also push drums or lust whatever you want to call it back to this point now doing this you'll see later on in this video the boss is already at half health here it basically allows me to pretty much see the intermission or phase two twice and just kill the boss so the boss is reaching about 40 here I like to have a few more shards here but nonetheless we're at a decent point in time refreshing ua one more time here now the central boss will become active at 30 percent on karam which he hits right there here comes the boss popping cds here orb uh agony corruption siphon life really trying to pump as many as much damage into the reyes type whatever you want to call him the main boss of this uh, fight as fast as possible before the shadowy fiends reach me now i throw out a vial taint here put up a seed pop it and rapture them down you can see the actual power of vial taint here now you can just circle and gateway away from the ads here and they do sort of spawn in waves so in the end it's, up, it's sort of up to you what you want to do playing seed is fine playing vile taint is fine but throwing a seed or two a few ads some of the larger mobs here or a few dots on them and they just sort of fall over you can also notice that i have a big id built up here but i can't really find a whole lot of time to dump it i will indeed put it into a, a thing a, a grass from beyond the hand that spawns later on but regardless coming out of this phase karam is back active here at 83 percent give or take but the other boss is at about 58 percent 59 percent and that's without even popping drums here hand from beyond spawns for the most part i just put my ui on them dot them up put a haunt on them i try to dump a drain life into it later on but drain was actually a, a big id empower drain it wasn't even incredibly impactful my dots just mostly ticked it down barring you have to kick it one time and then for the most part you can just dot it up rapture it down it just dies on its own you can see the power of violetain here most of these ads are just slowed not really even coming anywhere near me exhaustion on Karan if need be he's actually pretty slow here in the first place and from beyond spawns heading over here again agony corruption siphon put some ways up put a vile taint down again as are slowed as are dying on their own and the boss is at about 63 percent here so we know we're gonna be pushing back into phase two one more time and the big thing here like i said i had not even drums at this point now depending on your gear and things you very well might have to maybe make a third phase two depending on your cds and what you want to do with this fight but regardless once race dies the fight is over you don't have to kill karam you just once race is over dies the fight is basically done now there is also a, a rune you need to soak in this fight you can indeed send your pet over to it and stand in it that's fine your pet you whatever you want to do i just chose running over to it myself i believe and soak them not the end of the world so the boss is indeed coming active i believe in a second tier give or take he is active about now which i believe start dotting him up agony corruption siphon yep grams and purgatory once again vile the ads there was cedar two in and you can just see rapture like the rapture damage it, it, just, it just burned through these with with vile taint up vile taint seed everything just dies super fast and with the ads being spread out in different waves at times it was it was rough casting seed because one would be beating on you but with vile taint just open vile taint when the other wave spawns hey vile taint's back up and look here the boss is at 10 percent once again once race dies the fight's over big things for this fight seed vile taint both fine in the ads just deal with them slow them keep karam slow with exhaustion keep agony corruption siphon full dots whenever per, like priority targets you have it's up and the fight just dies this is honestly easier than the legion version with this current iteration of aflock exhaustion vile taint so the seeds this fight just falls over enjoy your new transmog